and welcome back everyone to episode 27 of Twilight Princess HD Hero Mode. So last time we managed to banish the very last remnants of Twilight over the land of Hyrule, and this time we need to get down there. That's where our next destination is. Also, I just got my new hard drive, so that's why I can realistically do videos now, because I don't have 50, gig um, 50 gigabytes left, and I'm not in danger of losing it all. By losing it all, I mean this footage. I'm a member of the Zora tribe, the proud people who care for Lake Hylia. Other Zoras are on guard patrol at the bottom of the lake. Zoras are still alive down there, under there. That may they dried up along the lake. But have you heard? It's like a temple or something at the bottom of the lake. Put on such airs with all their rituals and fancy temple hoo-ha, and they just disappear. What's with putting that temple suit that humans can't swim there? I swear, those Zoras. Oh, are you a customer? <laughs> You're one lucky fellow, fella. The height of the excitement, the thrill of launching to the heavens, the very peak of flying fantastication. It can be yours, fellow, for a limited time only, and without waiting in line. It's a paltry ten rupees. What do you say, buddy of mine? Want to give it a shot? Yeah. Come, fellow, I'm right this way. Alright, so we step into this cannon. And he plays this little thing with Ipu. So I've had doubles up in the audio. But he's got a cannon in there. Somehow we don't go over the house and through the, like, edge of the world. By edge of the world, I mean this cliff. Whoa, that reminds me of something. Didn't la la the late queen in Zora's domain ask you to do something? Okay, guys, it's been less than an hour since I've been awake, so my mouth is like... Blah, 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 blah. Um, she asked us to find her son, the one who's been missing since he headed for her Hyrule Castle. I think she said something about granting you some special power if you rescue him. If that final piece of few shadow <coughs> is on the bottom of Lake Hylia, then it looks like we're going to need that ability. Yes. Yes, Mun Munna. Yes, Minna. We will. So this over here is a mini game we'll do later, and there's a very specific reason for that later. I'll just say it has to do with the night. It has to do with something we have not seen yet. So, like I think I said earlier, I plan. Yeah, how we feel like you know. I plan on um, doing all the like exploration of the Fire Field and all that stuff once we have a certain ability. People who've played this game, you know what I'm talking about. Because without that ability, um, we'd have to do even more going back and forth and just revisiting the same area. Remember, I suck at controlling Abona. And yes, I... Straight into the wall. Oh yeah, we can get our new wolf power. I need to remember, hey Ben, you can't restore your health. Right, we're transported to, I think, old Hyrule? Dream Hyrule? 
And we had the hero shed. We meet again. It appears your efforts have begun to return some vigor to Hyrule, but it is far too easy to relax. Do you feel ready to earn another hidden skill to steal yourself for the forthcoming battles against more powerful foes? I do. Very well. But before we begin, I must test you to ensure that you have mastered the last skill I taught you, the shield attack. Now then, come at me. Excellent. Appears you are certainly capable of performing my lost art. Very well. My third hidden skill is... The back slice. Let it be hewn into your mind. A mere shield attack is no match for an enemy protected not just by a shield, but by a thick, full body coat of armor. The enemies are often focused on guarding against frequent frontal attacks. They often leave their rear unprotected. That is when you zeal target and press A sorry, while tilting a left stick to jump and roll around your foes, then perform a jumping slice. <coughs> This is the back slice, now try it. So this is probably one of the most useful things in this game. Hmm, do you carry yourself well, but do not forget the proper timing by swinging your sword while you jump. Third hidden skill of the back slice has been passed on. I seem to be peeking the mic a lot for some reason. Yep. I didn't change any settings. There's still four hidden skills for you to learn. Do not neglect your daily sword training from between now and then and the time you come to learn the next skill. We may we meet again. I think we got a little guy we need to try this on. Oh, mate. That's right, it's. Yeah, we got ending blow. I forgot it's two. Upstairs. Hey. Mr. Link, wait! <laughs> it's postman again. <sighs> Greetings, Mr. Link. I've come to deliver a letter. There's a letter for you, Link. Two letters, in fact, again. <laughs> All my business is concluded. Onward to mail. <laughs> That's the wrong button. Hey, we finished new production of a new type of bomb. These ones can be used in water. We have them in stock now. Come by and pick yours up. The Nira Tourism Association... <coughs> Sorry. Prepared a grand tour of natural splendor. Our main attraction is Isa and Hannah's playground for grown-ups. Find both immediately down the riverbank from the Zora water pool. Eva's rapid ride. Here the targets were riding the... Um, Raging River Rapids. No extra charge for using bomb arrows. It's a fight against nature with lure fishing. What kind of fish can you catch? Like I said we will be doing those after stuff that happens after the next temple. If you would, for the sake of peace in Hyrule. You please make a donation, I guess. May spirits of love descend upon you. Can you prepare for peace? Someday you will be surrounded with love. Okay, so you actually should give money to him at some point. At some point, when you have more money. Speaking of more money, there is someone I want to see before we go to Tabitha. Not Tabitha. Spoilers. Um. Oh, sightseeing or on business? 
It's a wonderful town. The residents are friendly too, so please feel free to talk to them. I'm not going to sell you coffee. Apparently. A coffee in a cup is actually fairly okay. Oh. Wow, fortune in this place is really accurate. My fortune said that if I stand in front of a shop, man wanting to date me would come talk to me. That's what you're doing, right? Sorry, but you're not my type. Wow, you're picky. Not that I would anyways, I have stuff to do. Well, what's up with you? You got some business at Agatha's castle? You don't you don't look like your friend the war the the bum, 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 bum of hers. I should not record in the morning, or at least not when my mouth feels all fuzzy. I'm not sure what those connotations are. Oh boy, I thought you were a giant grasshopper. But you're not a bug, you're a person. <coughs> Still, you're wearing those clothes, so that tells me you like bugs too. Oh boy, I forgot the formalities. You have an audience with the Princess of the Bug Kingdom. Agatha is my name. I invited the 24 golden bugs of the world to the ball, but... I don't know if they got lost on their way or what, but they're not here for that, that's for sure. She said, would you please bring them here to Agatha's castle and tell them the princess waits. Oh boy, if you have a bug with you, please give it to me. The ball must begin. You brought a bug for Princess Agatha's ball? Hi. Oh boy, who's your friend? You're a little male phasmid, aren't you? You little cutie. Little Phasmid, little Phasmid, I want to tie your long antenna into bows. <laughs> Pretty sure that'd be torture for it. Oh boy, thank you so much. I'm so happy. You actually went bug hunting for me, didn't you? To be honest, I doubted you would. I guess some might consider me a poor-mannered princess. From now on, if you share... What? If you bring me insects, I'll share my happiness with you. You can keep it in this. You got the big wallet. Can I hold up to a thousand rupees? That's different. It used to be six hundred. There's a partner for a little male phasmid somewhere close by where you found this one. If your bug becomes part of a pair, I think I'll be able to share great happiness with you. I think that's actually the map. What we have now is the max rupee count in the normal Twilight Princess. So I think the new highest one will um, be 9999. Oh boy, who's your friend? Blah blah blah. Little phasmid, little phasmid. Okay. <laughs> You bear, don't these little bugs look happy? Let me to share this happiness with you. But I'm your rupees. Treat your bugs left until I have them all. Of course. Yeah, I have. Hi. Little grasshopper, little grasshopper, I love to tickle your belly all day long. <laughs> oh, we thank you so much. This is probably <coughs> the weirdest character in this game. He's asking for a partner again. I do not like you. Beetle, I can never find the female one. Little Beetle, little Beetle, I want to use your shiny cell as a pillow and fall asleep. Well, thank you so much. Share this happiness. More money. 20 bugs left until I have them all. So, if we can find them, which I think we did not, um, they should actually start appearing around here. See, I think there's bound to be some up here. No, I don't. See them. So my roommate's taking a shower, so if you hear that, sorry. Yeah, I guess this is a horrible way of looking at it, but I guess there's a video going up instead. What? Never mind. But this isn't the where we need to go, no. So I don't actually need my fortune red. 
Oh, hi, guy. What? If you want to go to the Eastern Thoroughfare, just keep going straight down the back road. If you want to head out on this pass, you'll go to a higher field, but I don't know if the red goes all the way through. Red? Yeah. Open. Yeah, at least someone finally shut that door. I was glad they didn't because... Cutscene. Hmm... <sighs> But we'll be in this cutscene next time. So, there's my pen. If you didn't know, I write down like little, t I probably mentioned this before, but I write down little timestamps that I end videos at. But anyways, if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See ya!